It must be incredibly hard to go about life thinking that everything is fake or a hoax. I mean, you must be doubting pretty much everything you look at. Yes, that's right, we are back as we delve into the mind of one of the biggest conspiracy guys on YouTube. Welcome to the World by Hans. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tim Fall Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Yes, we are back with the guy that thinks that orangutans are fake, men have tight skin and women have loose skin, and a platypus is just a beaver with prosthetics. But today we're taking a look at a video of his where he thinks that sunspots proves that NASA lies. That's very interesting. Interesting. Yes, that's what I said, Jaron. Hans Wormhat. This is going to be a video mostly about NASA and sunspots in particular and about how it's probably one of the easiest ways that you can see that everything that you're presented in school, everything in the in the news about science is just a bold-faced lie. Everything. Everything is a bold-faced lie. Right. Okay, not everything, but most everything. And if they do tell you a truth, it's probably skewed a little bit or with some some falsities mixed in there. Oh, okay, so not everything then. But in my opinion, the single most, this is just something that you can look for yourself and prove that what you're being fed is lies, straight up lies. And you can tell that the lies are constructed in a way to sell the fake outer space fantasy land and to hide God. As I've said before, NASA and by extension science doesn't try to hide anything from anyone. There are actually many, many religious scientists in the world. Well, first I want to start with this. This is something that somebody left me on the last video I did. And I think it's a great comment. I wrote to Madame David when I was about eight years old. He did a video on David Attenborough. Now that guy is a national icon over here. I was seething. So little children are more observant. Adults have been just dumbed down to accept anything, so gullible. But it's often children that notice these things. Eight years old at the BBC to ask how they got shots of birds flying alongside the camera for ages. She wrote back to me from her private address in London, still got the letter and covered. It said, Dear Alex, the birds were raised from chicks by the cameraman and trained to follow him on a hang glider. That's produced nature for you right there. Not really sure what Hans's point is here. And yeah, it reminds me of, isn't there a movie, Fly Away Home or something, where some strat flies alongside geese or something? Again? So? What's your point, Hans? Okay, so one thing about the sun, I have a hard time talking about the sun or talking about the moon without bringing this up. This morning, it wasn't even 9 a.m. yet and I could get a suntan. That's not how it used to be. Technically, you can get a suntan whenever the sun is visible. In fact, even when it's cloudy, you can as well, as long as you're out there for long enough. The, they're almost always chemtrailing the sunrise and the sunset because it's the glare is out of control. The rising sun and the setting sun didn't used to be so intense. Now it's crazy intense, and it's Isaiah prophecy. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 26. Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun. And we already see that. The moon shines during the daytime all the time now. Didn't used to be like that. It's literally always been like that. And the moon only reflects about 12% of the sun's light. So not really that bright. That's what this means. What does it mean to shine like the sun? The sun is it rules the day. So the fact that the moon is always in the daytime now that's Isaiah prophecy fulfilled. I'm continuing. Right. Pretty poorly. Because when the moon is out during the day for you, someone else is seeing it at night, aren't they? So, yeah. And the light of the sun shall be sevenfold, as the light of seven days, in the day that the Lord bindeth up the breach of his people, and healeth the stroke of their wound. And I believe it's talking about the second coming of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, 
and I think we're there. I think the sun is so, so bright. That's why they do all the mass chemtrailing across the entire earth at this point. It's because the sun is brighter and they also like to hide the moon at night. A lot of times around full moon, they spray like crazy during the nighttime. Can't even see the moon. Yeah, that's called clouds. And again, nighttime for you, not for others. This is what NASA wants you to think the sun looks like. They get some picture like this, and then when you make the obvious assertion of, well, this is just Photoshop, somebody, it's an artistic rendition. This is usually what the actual data looks like. So they take something that looks like this and they turn it into this. Well, actually, it depends on what wavelength of light you are looking at. And there are artistic impressions of the sun, but that doesn't mean that they aren't accurate. This is not what the sun looks like. They just put this, oh, that's so fake. This is what they spend a lot of effort and energy doing. This is what, what NASA actually does. There's not some satellite in outer space that's getting this image. No, this is just completely computer generated. Except it's not. And they do have a satellite monitoring the sun 24 hours a day. So let me guess, they're computer generating an image all the time, 24 hours a day. They're selling you a lie. So here, I'll just get to the point because this is the point of this video. The easiest way that anybody can prove that everything that NASA is selling you is a bunch of BS is sunspots. This is not how sunspots work. This is just a straight up bold faced lie. Whenever they present you a picture like this or a GIF or a video, this is not how sunspots move across the sun. Despite his confidence, I can assure you he knows nothing, but at least he's understanding or accepting that the sun is a physical object. Progress at last. This is a lie and it's there to, to make you think that the sun is a sphere that's rotating. No. Oh, okay, maybe not. The sun and the moon do rotate, but think about the moon. We don't see a backside of the moon. Same with the sun. We don't, they both rotate like wheels through the sky. They don't rotate like this. This is a lie. Rotate like wheels? Well, that's a new one. And what, do all the astronomy teachers out there, none of them have tried to observe sunspots themselves? Um, I guess, and or they know that it's lies and they're dumb tranny deceivers, so they don't care. Did you catch that? Teachers are apparently dumb tranny deceivers. He had to get that in somewhere, didn't he? Lies. This is a lie. This is a lie. And you can see, look on this one how grainy it is, and you can see that they've added these rings to make it look spherical. No, the moon is the moon and the sun. They're not spheres, they're disks. And a lot of times you'll even see them talk about it that way because they slip in the truth sometimes. Okay, it looks grainy because funnily enough, the surface of the sun is littered with granules. This granulation is caused by convective cells. And we do sometimes refer to the sun as a disk because it looks like one but it doesn't mean it is one. Fake. This is not how sunspots work. Actually, it's exactly how they work. The sun rotates at the equator at approximately 24 days for one rotation. That is figured out because of those sunspot movements. But this is what your textbooks will show you. This is what NASA will show you. And it's because they have to sell the lie of spherical things up there. They're not spheres. And this just made me feel really good. I was looking at some of these videos and there are some awake people to this in the comments, but I don't know why this isn't being shouted from the rooftops everywhere. Cause this is just one of the easiest ways that you can show that NASA feeds you a bunch of BS, just bold face lies. And it's in every textbook out there. It's in any, any astronomical thing will pretend that sunspots move like this, but anyone can observe for themselves that that's not how they work. Yes, they can. 
Anyone with a solar filter and a telescope can track sunspot movements. Amateur astronomers do it all the time. CGI. Good job, Mohammed. <laughs> Look at him praising other woke people. Sun moves like a wheel, not like this. Correct. Th these comments gave me hope. This is a fake video, like NASA's fake videos. This is a lie. The sun doesn't rotate like a spinning ball. And this can be proven by yourself by observing the disc-like rotation of sunspots throughout a single day. And then you will know the truth. There's these things called sun and planet gears. Look at the, the white or silver colored gear. That's what the sun does in the sky. That's what the moon does in the sky. It doesn't rotate like a ball, it rotates like a wheel. It's two-dimensional spinning. It's not this third dimensional. Oh, it's two-dimensional. Okay, okay. Have you got any evidence for this? And I'm just going to end with this because this is what actually happens. If you observe a sun, so you need special filters. But if you observe sunspots throughout the day, this is what happens in reality when you're not living in NASA fantasy land. See how it's rotating? So we'll just watch it a few more times. It starts at the top and it's rotating around the... So it's rotating clockwise. This is how reality works. Sunspots rotate clockwise. And it's really, really hard to find this. This video only had a thousand views on it. Okay, something is not quite right about this video. First off, I don't believe that is a sunspot. The movement is way too fast. The sunspot movements would normally associate over the course of days like that, rather than hours. Secondly, you very rarely see one sunspot by itself. They usually always come in pairs. Truth be told, I couldn't tell you what it is, but I think I need to bust out my own telescope and start tracking some sunspots. And I actually have a personal story in, in like the first year when I woke up, when I just was doing transvestigating celebrities, um, I was friends with this person and they, they got all the filter. They had a P 900, they got all the special filters and they started recording these videos of sunspots moving throughout the day. And it blew my mind because I could just see what it's not rotating the way that I've seen it throughout my whole life. And it, it's, they purposefully hide this information because it just destroys anything NASA. Everything out of NASA shows sunspots moving around in a fake way. So all the astronomy teachers out there show sunspots moving around in the fake way. We can observe this. And I encourage everybody to go observe this for themselves, to go find real footage. Which is exactly what I'm going to do, Hans, just to prove you wrong. Watch this space on that one. Right, that brings the second episode of The World by Hands to a close. Thank you very much for joining me and watching. If you enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe. Oh, there's actually one more thing I've got to say. Andy, yes, that's right, I'm talking to you. Heidi would like to know if you'd make her very happy and marry her. I'm so excited about this. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great week, and I'll see you all tomorrow for a positive comments video. See you then.